see y'all at practice. A law is a law. Poll tests used to be law. So was segregation. Redlining. That's not the same. Explain why. It's just not. Things were different back then. Different how? Well, like, that was a different time. Social norms were different. People's expectations, their attitudes. Is this not important to you? Well? It is. You might want to speak more clearly. I can't hear you. It is. Keep in mind that for her, this knowledge is incidental, but for you, it can be life or death. So you might want to treat this material with the seriousness it deserves, Mr. Nix. Which reminds me, I'm almost done grading your assignments. I apologize, it's taken me a little longer than usual, but you'll have them back soon. All right. Yo, Deshaun. Yo, Deshaun. Let's have a look in here. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> that feels funny. Oh, yeah? What about that? <laughs> Does that feel funny? <laughs> Hey, how do you feel about a weekend trip to Cornell? This weekend? Yeah. Maggie's sister said she'd make a call and get loose some one-on-one -on -one time with the professor. This weekend, we have a sip and see. Oh, my God. Well, actually, you don't want to go. You should have said, right? Yeah, well, it's not that I don't want to go. I mean, trust me, I don't want to go. No, but you just hate babies. I do not hate babies. I mean, I love babies. She hate babies. Well, I'm just shocked. You're prioritizing your ex's sip and see over your son's college education, but hey, that's just me. Okay. Punchline and point made. <laughs> okay, fine. You're in charge of picking up whatever someone brings to a sip and see. Got it. Okay, see you home. Yeah. Hello? Yes, this is Amy. Kids are lucky to have you. Thank you. Uh, Luz, too. Oh, we're lucky to have him. We care a great deal about his success. Peter and I, too. Of course. And I know context matters. Please, Sid. Given Luz's background, you and Peter must have faced quite a few challenges. The language barrier, the culture shock. He's a resilient kid. He is. But it's also a testament to your parenting. Mm -hmm. Well. Thank you. We had a lot of support, especially in the early days. I mean, you don't pull a kid out of a war zone and have him turn out like loose without a lot of help. I bet. Which is why this is so difficult. Difficult? Last week, the class was given an assignment to write in the voice of an historical figure. Some students picked FDR at the start of the Great Depression, or even Fidel Castro at the Bay of Pigs. The goal was to get them to think outside of the box. Just want to make sure you understand where I'm coming from. Please.
Who is this Franz Fanon? He was a Pan-Africanist revolutionary. He argued that violence was a necessary cleansing force, that it was needed to free colonized people from their rulers. You, you teach this? I don't. Look, I won't pretend to know what it's like for Luce to confront certain aspects of who he is. And it's not within my purview to say what a boy who spent his first 10 years in Eritrea. Right. What that might have been like, what kind of, of, of adjustments he must have made in order to fit in here. And, and I don't know the details of his treatment. Well, I'm sure you've heard he went through years of recovery and he showed no signs of... I, I, I no, didn't I, mean to imply... I just want to be clear that whatever violence he both suffered and inflicted during that time was dealt with. It's been processed. Of course. But with the climate around school security the way it is right now, you can understand my concern. Yes. Which is why I felt I needed to search his locker. I'm sorry. Amy. He wrote a paper. A paper in which he describes his belief that the solution to a political problem is to gun down those with whom you disagree. Right, but he was assuming a character. The assignment called for this, and you... I found this in his locker. No. Amy. No, I'm sorry. I respect my son's privacy. Now, he wrote a paper that scared you fine. That's between you and him, but I won't. I will not violate his right to the privacy he's owed. They're fireworks. Illegal and very dangerous fireworks. They could put a hole in the wall, let alone... Where are you going with this? Right now, I'm the only one who knows about them, but what if someone else were to find them? If someone who didn't know Luce the way you and I do were to stumble on these within the context of his background as having written this, take them. Talk to him. Who he is is too important to this school for him to... He can't. Talk to him, please. I will. You're the one who keeps talking about Stephanie. No, I'm not. What is wrong? Oh, shut it! Look off me. You should have kept him out. Shut the... you, He told you. Yo, no, what the hell? Come on. He told everybody. He did it. Yo, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Call him. If this gets out, it's on YouTube. Both of you. Yo. Everything okay? Everything's fine, coach. Loose. My office. Sure thing. You read the whole thing? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Kids get taken with ideas. Look, he probably stumbled across Franz Fanon on the internet and went overboard. I read the Communist Manifesto when I was an undergrad and called people comrade for a month. Yeah, well, I think he's a little too smart for that. Not too smart to have explosives in his locker. It, they're fireworks. Illegal fireworks that have the Still, explosive capacity, I googled this, of a shotgun blast. They're fireworks. It's not shocking. That is shocking. Okay, so what? So what? 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 You, uh, our... Teenage, soon to be valedictorian son is is secretly a radical. No. A terrorist? No, of course not. What then? I don't know. It's just something's going on and I want to be in front of it.